Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today I'll show you how you can create the really nice section view as you can see right now on your screen this really uh, simple section view but some of you maybe don't know how to create it really more interesting so today we will do it together let's get started let's create our new in the section view I will open the new project let's use the architecture template you can use any template what you want but I will use the standard one from the Autodesk. okay here we are here we are in empty project and first thing first we will draw our first wall use any type of the wall which you want I will use some kind of of this uh, wall and I'll draw it uh, like um, like the L square so one wall and the second wall only to create nice section view that's it if you want to draw it everywhere you can do it okay so after you will did it let's select that and we get the one problem our uh, wall it's not connected to the second level so let's connect it to the level one and now you can see it's only four meter so this is what i want now let's go switch to the top of surface and now we will put only some few dots I will put four dots I will not change the elevation it will be zero because all the my section will be under the zero mm, elevation so it means it will be minus uh, something okay let's go back to the site because site is better view to uh, see through the what's going on below and above your plan and let's try make our uh, point more um, align to each other you can use the move you can use a line just as you prefer okay once you will finish that so let's say okay and now let's select our uh, top surface and now I will use the pad I will create the pad just create the pad where you want to use it pad it will create the some hole inside topography and this will uh, helps you to make like extrusion of the earth once we did that now we need change the elevation of our pad just select that and you will find here the height of offset let's make like minus something like minus 1500 and you will see it automatically will extrude your earth and automatically will make the pad uh, below the uh, our level zero so let's back to the side uh, once we finish with the uh, that all of the things i will change to the graphics to the shaded one and i will make more detail view let's go back to the floor and now we will draw the floor so let's draw our floor you can choose the type of the floor later on so let's draw it and as you can see our floor now on this uh, level zero and our pad it's below so now i will select all the my walls and i will make the section box once you will do the section box do it a bit smaller it will helps you and it will show you the layers of your walls and you can create as you can see right now on your screen kind of nice graphics to help you to you to your teacher to your client understand what's going on with in this part perfect i think this looks now pretty okay now we should lock our view how you can do that before you will lock your view let's change the name of our 3d as you can see here our 3d is bold it's mean we're using this 3d after that just go to the view mode and lock this 3d view now you can see i cannot change and i cannot rotate this view why we need that because after that when you will add some text it's not will rotate so now it's time to hide our section box let's hide our section box and optionally if you want you can hide for example levels now we can continue work with our model let's select this wall we should add wall below so i will copy this wall and i will try a line by level as you can see i have only two levels zero and one but i need level below so let's go to the elevation view and we will create one more elevation below the our zero uh, level uh, now i will just copy this zero level let's copy it just use the short key or use the uh, command copy let's make it like one minus 1500 millimeters below and let's rename it like level minus one once you will rename it it automatically uh, will label will change the name as you can see this is level minus one right now let's make it more uh, right and just uh, extrude a bit the lines and that's it so uh, not not too much to do till it's locked done we did it and now 
let's go back to the our 3d view as you can see we now have the level minus one and now we can align our wall to the level minus one of course it will be um, intersect with the other wall we will change the uh, position of the top of our wall i will change to the level zero and don't forget change the top offset to the zero and once you will finish you will see your wall below the level which is standing on the ground floor okay so awesome now we should think about how we will connect our wall and our floor you can use just connect to the top but i don't like this situation and i just will change the profile of the my floor as you can see and of course i will detach the my connection from the wall to the floor so and the same thing i will do with the other wall just i will copy paste it to the level one i will don't forget about the top constraint and don't forget about top offset top offset zero top constraint it should be b zero level and here we are so again you should go to the floor Let's go inside to the floor and now we should change the uh, profile of our floor. Okay, we finished with that. So now we will switch to the our graphic style view. So let's select, for example, our wall. Just right click and overwrite the our element. So you can use, for example, visual graphic or you can overwrite elements up to you. And let's make it a bit transparent. And as you can see, now our wall become transparent and we can show the internal structure of our wall. This is pretty cool. So let's now go to the uh, our wall switch sweep wall sweep will use like a internal structure you can use a generic model you can use whatever you want own family and other uh, many things uh, which are able to use in Revit anyway I will use the wall sweep just click on it escape and again choose wall sweep click on the wall and escape and by this way you can create really perfect structure which will host it on your wall once you will finish place your um, sweeps, you can make offset in turn inside to the wall. So we are finished and as you can see, it looks really huge to this uh, so thick wall. So let's go inside to the edit type of our sweep and here you will find the uh, profile. You can change it. As you can see, you can see here the default and let's change our profile to some thicker one. I will use for example this one 50 by 50 let's say okay and as you can see now all our sweeps become more smaller and it looks really great and like realistic don't forget when you will change uh, location of your wall the sweeps also will change so it will follow let's change our walls which one uh, become to foundation and now it looks more pretty and more right which this type it's more looks right so, but one thing I forgot about the uh, center of the my wall. I'm changing to the face one. Why I'm doing that? Because I want to make the um, uh, my walls on the one line. I did it by face, and after that I'm just using the align. I'm aligning my um, exterior walls and my foundation. And as you can see now, it's standing on the one line. This is uh, now more correct as the structure. Like additional things, you can create, for example, your interior floor. So, so don't forget about it. Construction things and interior things and architecture things, they should have the different model. So different physical model. You cannot make uh, all the three parts in one floor. So by this way, we will create some uh, our own interior, for example, uh, decking. And uh, for example, uh, we will place it on our construction floor uh, on our structure floor sorry so uh, let's create it and let's place it now we will add some accessories so you, we can use a lot of the way to create it uh, we can use model in place mm, this is bad way but sometimes it really helps or we can create the family we will use the first way because this is uh, a structure uh, isometric view only to show some principal things so just use the sweeps uh, inside the model in place and create kind of the shape to make it more interesting and more realistic. So don't forget, uh, devil, is, uh, devil in detail. So as much detail you can create, uh, as much detail it will use. 
So now we are in a final line. Let's change uh, the view. Uh, we will override view of our topography and I will change, for example, to earth uh, hatching. Don't forget, you should change only cut pattern uh, because we are cutted our topo surface. If you're not cut at your topo surface, you should use the only background. So we're changing, for example, the sum color. I will use the uh, a bit white or the gray. It doesn't matter. And it become more interesting because I like the styles of that. So let's change it. So let's change the color of all of that. And let's continue again. So as a bonus part, we will create some pipes. So let's go to the system. Here we will find the pipe and we will draw our pipe near with our wall. Let's say here is uh, some uh, pipe going to the uh, supply inside to our, um, our um, I don't know, home. Uh, let's select our pipe and as you can see it's not uh, looks nice. Uh, as you can see it here above, we will change the position to the uh, minus or something, minus 1000 something to create it inside to the earth and you will find now it's near with our foundation so but the size of our pipe it's too small you can change it the diameter just check just select your pipe and change the diameter of your pipe let's make it a bit bigger of course it's not unrealistic but it will create more interesting view let's make it 200 millimeter and let's place it a, a bit far from our foundation wall so we are on the finish line. Let's go to the our um, uh, graphic style and we will able to smooth our graphic. We will cast the shadows and of course we will change a bit the light. You can use always the kind of the settings and you will get always nice result. But as you can see my shadow dropping to the somewhere. Let's go to the sun and we will unswitch uh, dropping to the level one. And now we get more interesting uh, the our shadows. We can also change for example if we will change solar uh, study to the steel we can change position of our sun let's go to the steel and we will change the time change time to the any type of do you want and you will get maybe more interesting result or maybe your shadows will drop in somewhere where you want and the last thing, of course, this is text. So let's use our text and just use this same, say, uh, just simple text, or you can use the category. It's only up to you. Write something. For example, this will be wall, and you can use for this wall, for example, the arrows. Let's use the arrows. Let's make it more interesting, maybe like this, and let's make it more right, more correct, because we are in architect. So, but I cannot see my arrows. So my arrow, it's really line only, and I it cannot see. Let's go inside the parameters and here we will change our arrow. Here you will find arrow 90 degree. So let's change to the other type. As you can see, he has a lot of the types. Use any types what you like. Just apply it. As you can see, now we have arrows like elevation. Let's change arrow to the dot and we will get like really more interesting uh, thing. And now understandable ways our wall. So now you know how to create really interesting infographic. Today is finished, don't forget about a like, share, if you want to download this model, just go to the description there, you will find links. If you want to share with your own section view, send me into Instagram and I will post it in my own Instagram and will share with community. Thank you guys and see you next time.